are slightly, slightly behind. So we're like, we need a lightning talk, a fast talk. And guess what? We got it. Five minute talk. Yeah, you, you don't believe me? It's me. Look, he's even running up here. Oh my gosh, he, he's, he's getting up here real fast. Everything he does is fast. He is Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, so he's going to make this happen. Um, can you introduce yourself to us? Yeah, hi, I'm Walter. I work for Open Knowledge Foundation Germany, and we do uh, policy work, public data, open data, and transparency. Stuff. Um, unfortunately, even though he's fast, our team kind of ambles up here. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we're going to get this started uh, as soon as the slides come up here, which should not be too long. And then we're going to stick around for the OTR. See, uh, we, we actually planned this. We knew we, If we knew that if people come for the good talks, then we can get people to stay, uh, sit through t other talks to get to the talks that they want to get. Um, I'm joking. You're going to give a great talk, and I'm going to be thrilled to see it, OK? <laughs> You said you have 25 slides to get through in five minutes? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. I, I, take, I hope you're good at shorthand. Get out your notebooks. Take out your pencils. You're going to be writing really fast. No, basically, this is just an invitation for the workshop to tomorrow. So we'll cut it short. And I'm talking about open data. So the concept is similar from the talk before. It's about data, who owns it. And open data and public sector information is like a directive from the European Union. And that's another slide format. And uh, why we're doing it is because I think open data is a critical decentralized uh, knowledge. And it's an old uh, hacker saying that you should use uh, public data and protect private data. Uh, goes back to how Wallen. And I think the slides format is a little bit off. But basically, open data, anybody can use it freely, modify it, share it, and use it for any purpose. And when we lo take a look at it, so the government owns some data and that's knowledge, and they don't want to always share it. Uh, and you have a cross service open data, which means like here's like the non-personal data information. And we are working on it to get this like public sector information directive going on the European level. And we have a couple of projects and the slides, I don't know what, it's like cut it off, so we slip through. So that's the status 2019. Uh, there's a new recast of it, so they have two years time for uh, actually doing this. and. One of the special things is what you call high value data sets, and high value data sets basically have like a specific use for the society. Uh, and I will skip through that so we save time and we go to the public transportation case. And there it's my favorite case where you can see what it means. The green area in Germany is where we have like open data for public transportation. So when you want to go from A to B, you can find out on different services where you want to go. The other areas you sometimes are. Uh, get stuck somewhere when you want to go from A to B, you make a reroute. And since 2019, and it, in other countries in Europe, you have the same uh, issue. And I always make the joke, if you continue by that speed, we will first have like a human being on Mars before we have like open public transportation data in the European Union. And that goes, even though we had by now uh, open standards, open definitions, open software, and we could do that. And my favorite example what can be done or could be done is like a uh, digit transit from Helsinki that was done by the Public Transportation Authority in Helsinki. They created this platform on open source uh, with open data and somebody in Italy introduced like, the same real-time map uh, for the bus service for just 15,000 euro including the beacons to, to know where you should step into the bus. And that you could do pretty much with every data the government owns. And what I'm saying, so we could move from like this manual data shoveling, what you do with Excel sheets, to like an industrial scale rollout. Because once you have like the data definition and open data and open source software, you can scale it up. Uh, and there it's the case for other issues, not just transportation. It's like a beneficial ownership, like who owns a company, who pays taxes. and. Uh, Pretty much that's it. There's like a talk and lecture tomorrow at uh, 6 30 at uh, room 11, and I think that was my five minutes and 25 slides. And I hope you enjoy the next talk. Thank you. Man, did you deliver? <laughs> okay.